Hi everybody, more and more these days you're asked to show the impact of differing YD values diagrammatically. How do you do that? Well, it's actually very, very simple. A little scenario here, let's assume we have two goods, good one, good two, with these two elasticity values. And let's assume that incomes are forecasted to rise by 10%. You need to show the impact on demand for these goods. Now, we both, or well, we know that both goods are normal goods because they have a positive value which means that if incomes are forecast to rise, demand will shift to the right. What YED tells us is how much demand will shift when there is a change in income. All right. So, let's have a look here. Let's take number one first. We know that demand is income elastic. So we want to show a large shift to the right of demand. So how to draw this diagram? Start by labeling the axis, price and quantity. We want to show a demand curve, so draw that and label it D1. And what we want to show is that the price stays the same, income has changed, right? So price will stay the same, but demand will shift a long way to the right if incomes are to rise by 10%. We know that demand will increase by 40% because of this rise of incomes of 10%. So we can shift demand to the right from D1 to D2. But this is why you're sad. So this is simple on the diagram. But what you do is you show one price, and keep the numbers simple. So let's say demand initially was 100, and now because of this rise in incomes, and because we know Y is plus 4, the increase in demand will be 40%, taking us to 140. All right? So that's a nice thing to do, and that's how you draw the impact of a Y value of plus 4. All right? So that makes that one clear. What about for um, a good where demand is income inelastic? Same process, label the axis, price and quantity. Still a normal good, so if incomes are forecast to rise by 10%, demand will still increase, but the size of the shift will be much smaller, and that's the key thing. All right, so that's the D1. Now the shift is going to be much smaller, and that's what you make clear. So the price hasn't changed. The price remains at P1, and if initial demand was 100, new demand is now 100. Four, only a 4% increase in quantity demand. So what you're trying to show the examiner here is that using figures you can show the impact of a YED value. So this is for a normal good, for an inferior good, so if I made these negative then the demand curve will be shifting to the left if those are rising incomes. So um, you can do whatever you want to do as long as you know what the figure is. Make up figures, put the figures on the diagram, show the different sizes of the shifts. That's how you construct these diagrams and look good as an economist. Always check that you label axis, which we have, that you label curves, which we have all the way through. Uh, there's no equilibrium here, but we have labeled our P's and our, and our quantities very nicely as well. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video.